Hi everyone and welcome to another Heroes and Bosses video. This time I'll be painting the Cockatrix from Massive Darkness as voted for on Patreon. I'm starting off with the feathers on the head and the body. The first color I'm using is XV88 on the head, neck and back and also on the small feathers of the wings. The head has what looks like three different sizes of feathers and I'm going to use a different color on each size. I'm now switching to Averland Sunset and I'm painting all the large feathers encircling the face. I'm also using this color on the small feathers along the spine of the cockatrix. My thinking behind this color scheme is based on the ancient myth of the cockatrice that this model is based on. The cockatrice was half dragon and half rooster and hence the bright colors. For the largest feathers on the head and spine, I'm using my brightest pure red, Evil Sun Scarlet. For the rest of the body, I'm using a cream color and a bright green. I didn't really have a good pure green at the time, so I just mixed together a light and a dark. I'm starting off with a cream color first though, and I'm painting the breast and just a few feathers at the leg and behind the main body. You can see that I left a few unpainted feathers at the very end by the tail and those are the ones getting painted with the bright green. And the last feathers to be painted are on the wings. I'm going to use two colors for these. The first row is being painted with Kalidor Sky. The second row is being painted with Stegodon Scale Green. Next I'm going to use a 2 to 1 mix of Cardic Flesh and Screamer Pink for the legs, the face and the tail. This guy is half dragon so you could paint the tail and legs to look like dragon scales but I'm going to go with a more fleshy look. I'm also using this collar on the front claws and the neck flap, which I googled and it's called a wattle. Apparently the bigger the wattle, the more attractive the rooster, so this guy must be like the George Clooney of the cockatrixes. For the tongue and the inside of the mouth, I'm just going to use some pure cardic flesh. Next I'm doing the beak and the claws with a light tan color, Xandri Dust. That's all the base colors on, so I'm switching to some shades. The first one I'm using is Agrax Earth Shade, and I'm going to use this on most of the Cockatrix, anywhere that was painted red, yellow, tan, or cream. You could of course use this on the entire miniature, and that would work fine, but I'm going to use a few different ones. After that's on, I'm going to set it aside to dry, and then I'm going to do some very simple dry brush highlights. I'm going to start first with XV88, and then once that's on, I'm going to switch to Baylor Brown. You can see that I'm using a really small brush for this, since I don't want a lot of paint going on at once. And I'm only going perpendicular to the feathers. I just want to catch the edge of each one. Just 
Just like I did with those feathers, I'm going to do the same thing to the feathers around the face. The first dry brush will be with Averland Sunset, and the second will be with Cygnus Yellow. For all the parts that were painted with the cream color, I'm just dry brushing once with the original color. And I totally forgot about the green feathers, so I'm going to first wash them with Beagle Tan Green, and then follow that up with a single dry brush of Moot Green. The red feathers are only getting an edge highlight. I mixed equal parts Evil Sun Scarlet with a dark orange Wild Rider Red, and then I'm lightly dragging my brush just around the outside edges of each red feather. Next I'm doing the beak with a reapplication of the Xandry Dust, but I'm avoiding all the little holes and dents. Then I'm going to add a bit of white to this and do an edge highlight around the inside of the beak and along the snout. I'm also using the Xandry Dust and White Mixture to highlight the top of each claw. Now I'm putting a wash over all of the flesh and the inside of the mouth. I'm going to use a 1 to 1 mixture here of Reichland Flesh Shade and Carolberg Crimson. When I get to the tail, I'm doing something different. I'm not going to completely cover the entire tail. I'm just going to wash over all the gaps in the tail segments. I'm not trying to be neat here, there's no point with the wash, and it's all getting touched up later. I'm just making sure all these gaps are more visible. Next I'm switching to Drakenhof Nightshade to do the largest feathers, though a black or brown wash will work just as well here. Once again, I'm only tracing the gaps with the wash to make them stand out. On the underside of the large feathers, I'm just completely covering them with the wash. Now you may have noticed that my base is changing magically. I'm not going to explain how to do the base since it's done exactly the same way as seen in my cobblestone base video. If you're interested, there'll be a link at the end of this video and in the description below. For the next part, I'm going back to the same flesh mix that I used originally on the cockatrix. This time though, I added slightly more of the cardic flesh to make it a bit brighter. I'm going to use this to cover most of the wattle, and then I'm going to use it on the raised parts of the face, the front claws, and the legs. Once I get to the tail, I'm using this color to paint only the top two thirds of each segment, and I'm trying to only use upward brush strokes where possible. I'm going to paint up to the edge of each of the gaps, but I'm going to make sure I leave a thin line of shadow next to each gap. For the last bit of highlighting of the feathers, I'm going to use Temple Guard Blue and Sotek Green. If you don't have a brighter version of the color you used for the feathers originally, just add some white to your original color. I'm first using the Temple Guard Blue to trace the spine of each feather, and I'm not worried about getting this perfect, since it's easier to do touch-ups than to get perfectly straight lines. After that, I'm doing an edge highlight all around the outside of each feather. Once that's done, I'm going back to the original blue I used for the feather and making these lines look nice and straight. Then I'm using the same process on the remaining feathers using Sotek Green. The last thing to paint is the eye. I'm first going to cover the eye completely with white.
Next I'm using Cassandora Yellow Wash and I'm going to completely drown this eye with it. You want some really heavy pooling around the edges of the eye. Next I'm using a damp brush to wipe away most of the wash from the top surface of the eye, just to make this part a bit brighter than the rest. You can also just use the tip of your finger for this part. And there you have it. Finish off your base any way you want and spray everything with a matte varnish. As I said, there's a link to how I created this kind of base at the end. Thank you very much to all my patrons for supporting these videos, and special thanks to Brian Jones for sponsoring the channel. The horde of creatures from Massive Darkness is slowly growing, and there's a video or PDF for each of these miniatures if you're interested. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.